power button and it'll turn that color green. Okay. Okay. Let me see if we're connected. Hold okay. It might be live right now. We'll see. Okay. Let's go check on YouTube. There's about a 40 second delay, so. Okay. Audio check, one, two, three, audio check. <laughs> you do audio check for you. Audio check, one, two, three, audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, audio check. the mic but it's not picking up our mic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fort Collins High School and Deal Diamond for today's game between the Grandview Wolves and your Fort Collins Lampkins. Now introducing the starting lineups for today's matchup. First, the visitors from Grandview. Leading off of the world to play the game. Audio check, audio check. 
Audio check, audio check. There, that's better. Audio check, audio check. Audio check, audio check.
Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. Today's game will be between the Fort Collins Lampkins varsity baseball team and the Grandview, Grandview, whatever their last name, big name, the Wolves. I'm John Lawyer, joining the booth today is... Navarro, you're welcome. Navarro's going to take over for a second. Call the game. Looks like we've got Tucker on the phone, so go ahead. Welcome, sports fans. See, on the mound for the Lankins today, we got Sean Tover. And he strikes up the set. First out of the inning. Now batting number 10, Colin May. And that brings up number 10, Colin May. A little chopper to the third baseman. Toss over first for the second out. Now batting number 32, Jay Fister. Sean Toger working quickly. And that brings up third baseman, E.J. Baroni. Toger gets the sign. Brings up AJ Murray. Two outs already at the top of the first inning. Murray's getting his assignment from third base coach. And it throws back to first. Nothing there. He's safe. Sean steps back up. Another check down to first. Safe again. Checks over. Goes back into the pitch. And that's a hard shot. Up to the right fielder. And it's caught for the final out. The Lakers finish up. Three up, or four up, three down for the Lampkins at an inning, and we're going to take a break on the Lampkin Sports Network. All right, the Lampkins are going to come up in the bottom of the first inning. Leading off will be Dylan Rubenstein, I believe. We're going to have to mute the between music or the between inning music because YouTube blocked my video from last night, so shame on them. So there's a copyright infringement of some of this crazy music that we hear in the background. So what do you do? Toger had no trouble in the first inning, looking strong. So we'll see what the Lampkins can do on offense. Navarro, what's your prediction here for the game? What do you, how many hits do you think they'll get up at Toker? They got one in the first. One in the first thing. Toker's pretty good pitcher, so it's hope it's not going to be too much. I don't know anything about the uh, Grand Fields, but I know that we are pretty 
Yeah, we came with the bat training today. Dog girl give up about three hits today, Tops. Number 12, Dylan Rubenstein. Maybe he'll give up three hits, maybe four of them tops. Tucker's on his game. And the catcher has to have an extended conversation up there. They just had the whole morning to talk about things. I'm not sure what they're talking about now. That's right. Black Sabbath never hurt anybody. Rubenstein takes in. Here's the pitch. Swing of this. Here we go. Fastball again, high and away, but he swung in two strikes. What do you think about this guy's arm, Navarro? High and away, ball one. Yeah, it looks like he's going to have batting practice speed here for us. Once we get the timing down, it's going to be over. Ball two. All right, that might have had a little heat on it, but he gets lucky once in a while. The pitch. Curveball gets away from him. Ball, th ball three. We got ourselves a full count. Got to start at 0 and 2, works his way back to 3 and 2. Here comes the pitch. Swung and it's fouled off to the left. Or, I'm sorry, to the right. Cover remains full. The payoff pitch. Maybe. Thinking about it. Here it comes. Outside. Ball four, but he calls it a strike. Yeah, so one down, then up comes the big bat of number 13, Sean Toger. Toger rips at the first base, fielded it cleanly, and taking him. Pretty good swing, Navarro. What do you think? I'd say so. I was on the shot the first base. No, no, no. He doubled it up pretty good, though. Awesome. So I'll give him that. Yeah, he hit it right to him. No self defense. He's lucky he still has an arm out yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Could have taken his hand right off. In for the Lampkins, number 18, Max Bronson. Curveball is high. Try to pull him with the curveball in the first pitch. No way. We ain't having that. Swing and a miss. And here comes the pitch. Swung. Ball straight back. It would have came right to us if the pitch was good. Oh, he's shaking his arm. It's already hurt. This guy's not going to last long. One, two's the count. Two outs. Nobody on. Here comes the pitch. High. Good night, Bronson. In the 2 2 pitch. Swung and stunned to right field. Going back to the right fielder. Fell down. Looks like he caught it. He did. He makes the catch. Great play by the right fielder. So the Lampkins go down in order in the first half of the, at the bottom half of the first inning. 
It is zero zero going into the second inning. We're going to take a break on the line of the course there, buddy. Now back at it. What's up to that? Number 12, Easton Lawrence. That's fine. All right. Ready, ready. Here's the lanterns. Pitch misses just outside. Oh. That looked like a strike to me. What do you think, John? That was right down the middle. For left handed bitters, they usually like them down in and like that. I'm surprised you didn't take it. That's right. Sean checks in again. Comes in the pitch. Lawrence calls in again. Comes in the pitch. Strike down the middle. Remember what the last one was. That's right. First count, three one. Sean will work the count back here, Dad. Comes in the pitch. Misses low again. No, that's pretty good to me. Right there. Flores takes first. Cut up now. We have number five. Cam Kennedy. Looks like he caught the inside corner. That guy was crowding the plate, but the umpire didn't give us a call. Let's see what, we'll see what Sean says. Checks over to first. They're doing that in the second inning. They're already scared that they're not going to score very many runs. That's right. So they're, they're getting desperate already in a 0 0 game. Trying to get crappy. They know what's coming. He's got a short lead out of first. And he checks over. Flores quickly swings back to first. An 0 1 count. Sean checks in. Another bunt. This is foul again. Oh, two. I'm not sure this is the guy you want, but he doesn't look like he can help the bat at all. Oh, two. Oh, two. He's got to take it right now. Of course, I'm not sure if I'd want to try to bump with him. Toker throwing a high fastball to you. Oh, Short and tackle play. That's a double wood position. And he strikes him out. For the first out, Sean Toker. Tucker should just stay with the fastball with those guys. He just blew that guy out of the water. Got another short lead out of first. Shotter checks in the line. This is hard swing and a miss. They're way behind this fastball right now. You should just stick with it. Another look out of first. He's got no lead out there. Oh, he checks on it. Still own one. Sean checks in again. There's the pitch. Up and in. Works count one and one. Unofficially, we clocked that pitch at 110. <laughs> Unofficially. Sean looks at first hit. And here comes the pitch. Cut the low outside corner for strike two. First count one and two, one out. Here at the top of the second inning. That's a nice weather today here. Not quite as windy as it was yesterday. No, it's a beautiful day. 
Come down to the ballpark if you're not doing anything. Otherwise, just stay where you're at. We'll just gonna keep coming. Shall I check some over at first? That'd be fair. Count still wanted to. Well, I'm not a try back at first. Floor is completely lost back at first. The guy didn't look like he could run very fast. Shall I check that again? Oh, and he beat him. Right the shoulder. Crowd your plate, you gotta get the ball back. You can send in a message to the rest of the team. Five runners in first and second. And up to the plate now comes number 23, Tony Crow. Trying to get crafty, they're they're worried. Only second inning, he tried much so. The ball looked like it landed in the pond. That's a shame. Crow steps in again. Sean checks in second. Here's the pitch. Get that corner. There you go. Strike two. Sean works the count on two. Tucker's gonna pound that outside corner. Just give him the calling bed, we'll keep it at right there. Got only two left for Crow here. Sean checks in again. And a pitch. It's a little ground ball. Watch the third base and that's through. Because Suarez opened the third base, third base coach holds him up. Now the bases are loaded for the Lincolns. And on number 19, Tucker Small. Got one out here on the top of the second. Sean looks calm. He's got under control. They start loaded for smoke. Yeah, looks like Tucker smoke. Here's the pitch. Well, they've been giving him that pitch all day. You gotta get yeah. it from there. Catches the low outside corner for ball one. Tucker's pounding the mid right now. Here's the pitch again. It's a high fly ball into right field. And it's caught. One run scores. Balls the ball in. Flores scores. That makes it one nothing. Grand view. You got a solid hit on that. Tucker supplied most of the power for that, but Sutter's made a good play out there in left field. Got the ball in quick, but not a quick enough to get the runners out of that. Tough play at home. Yeah, sacrifice play. Two outs here in the top of the second inning. Sean checks in the first and second. And a pitch is one of five wide ball out to center field. Jude's running, running, running. And he makes the catch for the final inning. Great play. Only one run scored that inning. We'll take a break here on the Lincoln Sports Center.
Uh, well, the back one. Baseball fans. We have the uh, sophomore kid, Sarah's up to bat. Let's see if he can get something started for the Lions. Mr. Harding, sophomore. Sutter's a big hitter on the football field and the baseball field. Take your head off in football. You gotta watch out for this guy. Yeah, he steps into the plate. Here comes the pitch. Outside to high, the ball low. It's crazy to call that strike. You have to go down there and talk to him. I 
feeling Gino's on the move on this play, on this pitch. Two outs? Two outs, I think it's going. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, it's the lead that fooled me. Taking a stab in the dark, you never know. Pitch there. That's just straight E. up on those high fastballs. Thank you. 
shots in the first baseman. Max Gobson out, tosses the shot, and they make the final out. Great Stewart there, no run scored. Oliver's 
Pitches out there this inning. This may be his last. Since it's so early in the season and it's still kind of cool out there, I wouldn't be surprised if this is his last inning. Maybe he'll get another one, maybe not. Looks like I got a couple guys out there warming up. Number 16, Kaden 
and Fowler. Here is expressing the fact that he doesn't like the outside call. <laughs> That's the moral of the story, you can't complain. Yep. You come back yep. over to somebody else. And early exit. Nothing to see here, let's play ball. <laughs> We're going to strut. Fireworks at the home plate, which Tilger hit the triple, and then Fireworks at the first base side with the first base coach getting booted out of the game. Yeah, they're talking about him being in the coach's box, which is really unusual. Yeah. And he swings and misses the ball. Very eventful inning for Yankees. We're up three to one. We'll be back. Shot still on the puck here. Top of the fourth inning. Swinging and a miss. Bring the heat. 
Keep throwing that fastball. They're way behind you. Finally gave us that outside corner. That's good. Yeah, Tucker settled in, let him make some contact, didn't want his fielders to get, you know, sleepy out there or anything. Yeah. 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 Good pitch. Pretty good pitch to take.
better I could tell. Yeah, taste that fish. That's a good fish to take. <sighs> We're just count two and one. Welcome back, Lanning Baseball fans. We are at the uh, top of the fifth inning. Scoring 
score is three to one for Collins. Instead of missing, you have to move the glove there. They had it right where it was. We're fast, no strikes, what I was saying. Give him that one. Oh, Been giving that call all day. You think he was fooled? He was probably looking for the curve and that came up. Now he's got to think of curve. He's got the better thinking curve. Here's where you heat him up on the outside corner and get rid of him. Yep. One, two, the Interesting place to have a pond out there. You know, I don't yeah, know how many right. baseballs we lose over there right now, but it's got to be quite a few. Yep. Still one, two, count. Yep. Oh, barely. Barely counts hit. I don't know if you can ever go by the pond out there, but that's not a place I would want to find. Oh, no. It's a pretty desolate place. Pretty desolate place. There's nothing out there now. Yeah, they might have dinosaur bones or something like <laughs> that. Still one, two, count. Nice play of ball territory over there, even though we couldn't see it. Now he's locating that curveball, it makes his fastball look even faster. That's right. Now he's got to decide if he's going to sell out on the curve or the fastball because he doesn't know what's coming. Oh, I have the fastball. Wait, I'd go. I'd just heat this one up. There it is. He's way behind that one. Because the game goes on, Tucker seems to be getting stronger out there.
It's a two person job out there. Luckily it would foul because the hopper's not going to run down the flag at 100 miles an hour. Hopper's not much of a sprinter, is it? He can hit the ball though. Squeezing the zone a little bit compared to what he's calling the table. He needs to go thank you. Yeah. Two to the counter. Not all smoke. smoke test. That's in the field. Not all smoke. That's in the field. 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 That's in the Great hit, but Hopper's not going to get any awards for sprinting. Yeah. Good kid. I'll stop making fun of him. Looks like Hopper's going to get a place runner for him. Great hit, my man. Let's see if Oliver can't get something here. Lampkins could be in business this end. Steal on that play. Might have had an outright steal if he didn't butt. Still nobody out for the Lampkins. Yeah, 
it'll stay in the stake in just a bit. Yeah, he's been giving us, he's been calling that, but thankfully he yeah. didn't call it there. He's tightening up his own here in the last couple of minutes. He snapped that pretty good. Game. Ooh, that was the pitch. That was a half. Just missed it. 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 Just
Thunder and he had Bob Fox out. That was a bitch I was going to send him home. Send that kid to the showers out there, buddy. First cat, too, too, dude. There's still only one out. He's going to find a gap here somewhere. Left, oh, left center looks wide open. Oh, yeah. Back at it here for the Lankins, the top of the sixth inning. Sean Toter still pitching for us. And this brings up number 28. I think this is Chapman. Toger getting it done early with the strike right down the chute. It's a beautiful day out here in Fort Collins. Field Diamond. Lots of people. The snack shack open. Let's go get your snacks. And that ball is ripped out to center field. Jude settles right under it for the catch. Nope. It's, that ball just seemed to find him. One out here at the top of the sixth inning. And here comes our big lefty. It's Flores, number 12. This might be the catcher. I think it's the catcher. Yeah. Big tall, big tall dude. He's drawing something in the dirt there. Let's see if Sean can't ring him up. That ball just misses outside. Oh, and Ollie's going to go out to talk to him. Must have missed that sign. Yeah, yep. Seems to be all in sorts now. Ollie trots back behind the plate. And Flores sits in again. Sean delivers. That ball just misses inside. Two of the count here. Sean's working quick. Here comes the pitch again. There we go. Finally. 2 1. Count now. Good pitch. Great pitch. Yep. Sean fires. Ooh, just misses. 2 2 the count here. He's got a big looping swing. I think he's going to be behind the fastball. Yep. I'd throw a fastball high and in. Let's see what Sean here. Just misses low. He works count 3 2 again. See what happens here. Flores makes it on, or Sean can ring him up. That ball is smoked out. Third base side. Foul ball. Foul ball. 
Bow ball looks like. Windows are pretty foggy, can't see much. Three to the count here still. <laughs> Sean fires. And that ball just misses outside. And Flores takes his base. Now up is number five, Cam Kennedy. Still a 4-1 lead for the Lincolns. One out here in the top of the sixth. Flores doesn't have much of a lead out at first, as usual. Ooh. Wow, that was a perfect pitch. Might have missed a little bit low, but... Seemed to be a great pitch. But yeah, counts 1-0, yeah. You can't ask for much from Yeah, yeah. Sean checks at the runner at first. He's safe there. Checks him again. The floor still skips back to the base. Kind of looking like he's trying to dance or something. Doesn't look very athletic. Sean looks in at the plate. He fires a pitch, and that ball is smoked out the left field. That's a high ball. Sauter settles in it. Makes the catch. And, yep, that was really high. High sky is here today. Flores skips back to first. Two outs here at the top of the sixth. Sauter plays a pretty solid left field up there. That's right. A little bit of technical difficulty. <laughs> Must have switched in, yeah. Pinch hitter. Yeah, pinch hitter here. Sean looks in, checks at the runner, fires the pitch. In there for strike. Very good pitch. Flora still with a little bitty lead out at first. Well, Two outs here. Sean fires and skips back again. Yeah. Sean looks in. Oh, one count here. He delivers. That ball just misses a little high. Still popping a bit in the sixth inning. He's doing pretty good. Sean checks in at first again. Fires the pitch. Ooh, beamed him in the back. Bummer. Vaughn takes his base. Yep. Not here, he would have been dead. <laughs> well, it looks like the pinch runner, or pinch hitter gets a pinch runner. Odd. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Got two outs here at the top of the sixth. Our runners at first and second. Plenty of ways to get it out here. Sean looks in at the plate. Checks at second. And fires the pitch. That ball just skips in a little low. Coach Tag calls time. He's walking out to the mound. Make sure he's alright. He's over a little bit. He's in no rush to get out there. <laughs> so out there talking to Toga. Just trying to get him in. Settle him down a little bit. Talking to his boys about his game plan. I think, alright guys, I think he's in the three. He's like, alright guys. I'll start pushing him around a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back real slow to the dugout, so get back to your position. But yep. don't, don't be in any hurry. In no rush. It's a beautiful day out here. If you're not at the bar at the ballpark, you should be. Looks real nice. Yeah, too bad Coach Lane is back today. Didn't do your briefs in Yeah, bummer. Alright, back at it here. We have a 1-0 count still. Sean fires. And that ball is smoked up the middle, almost hits him. And Nathan makes a diving play, but just misses. He fires in at four, and does not make the play. Flores runs in the score. 
That score is 2-4. to four. That was a hard hit shot up to Toger. Great diving play by Nathan. It just came up a little short. Good try. Two outs still here. Toger checks in at the runner at second. Fires in. That ball miss is just a little low. Runners at first and second still. Have to shut the door. Two outs here. Plenty of room. Sean fires. Great pitch. That ball just floats in there on the inside corner. Oh, yeah. Sean sets. Out of calls time. Resetting. And he settles back in. One on the count here. Toger fires. Ooh, he did. He went around. That's right. That was a great pitch to throw. One, two, the count now. That's right. Batter's bouncing his bat on his shoulder. Then he swings and misses for the final out. What a strikeout. Good work here for Lampkins. Only one run scored. Left two stranded. And we'll be back here. Welcome back, Lampkin baseball fans. We got one final inning here for the Lampkins. And they've got a 4-2 lead. Let's see if you can't open it up a little bit more. Yeah, Lampkins can use an insurance runner too here. Oh, why not? They could use some BP. Pretty great throw. Now up we have number two. Gino Macri. Gino Macri. See if he can't get something started for us. He's our third baseman here. Infield's playing relatively deep. Pitcher looks in. Delivers a strike in the high, in the high corner. Looks a little bit high. Gino sits in. And that pitch skips away from the catcher. One and one. Didn't really make an effort to uh, receive that pitch at all. <laughs> yeah, oh late. Here comes one two. Ooh, it's a good cut. Foul ball just kind of skips in on the catcher's shoulder. You know how that feels. That really sucks. Umpire's, yeah, umpire's giving him a little, little breather. Check on the pitcher. It's one of the best parts about being catcher. You got all sorts of cool marks at the end of the game. <laughs> Gino sits in again. One, two, the count. Pitcher fires. Ooh, caught that shoulder again. On a low drop ball. You know how that feels, too. <laughs> yep. He's doing a good job. Two, two, the count here. He's kind of awkward on the base count. Gino takes time out, steps back in. Picker, pitcher shakes it off, and here comes the pitch. That ball skips away again. Works on three two. Another three two count. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see if Gino can get something going here. Here comes the pitch, and he. Delivers a 
slow roller out to the second baseman. He fires it into first for the out. Number one, Nathan Snyder. I have senior number one, Nathan Snyder. Last inning, he uh, made a pretty good diving play out to second. He just came up short. Looks like he has some Spider Man skills. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can't get something going for us. Pitch fires and it catches the inside corner. Ball one. Bottom of the sixth inning here. Four to two, the Lincolns. Comes the pitch. That ball catches the low outside corner. In there for a strike. Pitcher fires another outside pitch. Pitcher seems to be quick pitching him. He's getting him going as soon as he steps in the box. Here comes the and that's a little shot of the third base side. He just barely gets it down and he can sink at first. Great awesome by Nathan Snyder. Now he's hitting. Let's see if he can move Nathan around. Nathan's got a pretty big lead out at first. Fire pitcher checks in on him. He attempts to make a slide out at first, but not quite far enough. Here comes the pitch. That ball's up and in. Catcher's ready to fire it down. Nathan steps off for a little bit shorter lead than he had. Pitcher fires. And that ball's in there for a strike. One one the count here. One one the count, only one out here. That pitch is fired and that's low. Two on the count here. Bottom of the sixth inning here. Let's see if Griffin can't get something going. That ball is smoked out the first baseline. Nice compacts win there. Just straight to ground. Yep. That ball is uh, destined for the swamps, looks like. Griffin steps back in. 2-2 two, two the count here. Yeah, and officially they made the pond out there part of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> so, swamp thing living out there. Yep. Pitcher checks in on Nathan. He's got not much of a lead. That pitch is up. He works count three and two again. Another full count here. Griffin sits in, ready to get something done. Nathan goes, and it's a little chopper to the pitcher. Checks in at second, and makes the play at first. Now batting number five, Oliver Stavage. It's a great work by Griffin, moving Nathan around. A little sacrifice. And up comes Oliver. Let's see if he can get something going for us. So through the infield, score Nathan. He made solid contact on there. Just have to get right to the pitcher. Yep. <laughs> Dugout's chirping pretty loud. Here comes the pitch. And the, caught the outside corner, but call it a strike. Oliver sits in. He's ready. Nathan with not a huge lead out at second. And that pitch caught pretty much catches same the pitch. same corner and umpire still calls it a ball. Pretty inconsistent, but we'll take a ball. One on the count here. That ball is delivered in the dirt. 2-1. Somebody excited in the Yeah, he's, someone's chirping pretty loud out there. Oliver sits in. Can't get something done here. Ooh, swing and a miss on the outside corner. 2 2 the count here. Two outs here at the bottom of the ninth, bottom of the sixth inning. Oliver sits in. He's ready. 
Here comes the pitch. That ball is smoked. Up the first base side again. And that ball is probably out of the last swap again. That's right. Oliver sits in again. Pitcher checks in and Nathan. Not much of a lead out there. Here comes the pitch. And that ball is a slow roller out to the second baseman. He's going to see if he can beat it. And he doesn't. Bring him up out there. Oh, Lincoln's trying to. Pretty good inning so far. Let's see if we can't get something else done. Lincoln Sportsnet, we'll be right back. And welcome back, Lincoln Baseball fans. Sean Toker's still out on the mound there. Please, can finish up this inning. Just need a 1 2 3 inning to get out of here and go home. Let's see how much Toker has left in the tank. And Sean delivers. And that ball's in there, first strike. Based on that pitch, I see he quite a bit left in the oh, tank. Oh, that's right, yep. 4-2 lead over the Wolves here. Lincoln's doing a job. And that ball skips low and inside. And that ball gets away from Oliver. But no, no, no pressure. Got a slight breeze coming in from center field. But other than that, it's a beautiful day out. And that ball is smoked out to left field. That's a high, high ball. And under it is Caden Sowers for the first out. Great catch. That ball had some height on it. Pretty high, just not far enough. Coming off the bat, I thought it was going to be deeper, but no. Did pull Miller, did pull Sounders, and can it work? Yep. Here's the pitch again. That's a great pitch. Catches the inside corner. Toger delivers. And that ball is missed again. Oh, two, the count here. I won't mess around with your ball. Yeah. He was waving at that pitch. It's a great pitch. He steps in a little bit timidly. He don't want anything to do with other pitchers. And he steps back out. Needs time. If you're about to play against Togers, get the set. That guy's getting set right there as well. Yeah, Togers ready. And he fires. And that pitch is gone. One, two, three, pitch. Perfect strikeout for Toger. Yeah. That was great. Two outs here already. Let's see if Toger can wrap it up. Here comes the pitch. And that ball skips past. Fired. Fired right back to us. Oh, one. Lots of fans flinch when the balls are hit right back. <laughs> that ball skips in. One and one the count here. Toger looks in and he fires. That fish skips in the way. He's getting ready. And the pitch. That ball smoked out again. 
fan attempted to make a catch, but just barely missed it. <laughs> Pretty high skies up there, guys. Two two count here. Toger fires. And that ball smoked again. That ball had enough heat on it, maybe it made it past this ball. Oh, the well, pawns out there, yeah. Two two again. Toger fires. That ball is right down the shoe for strike three. The Lincolns take the four two win over the Dakota Ridge Wolves. Great play. A great win, Lincolns. We thank you to all of our listeners for tuning in to the Lincoln Sportsnet. And we'll be back on Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday, I'm not sure the next game. I believe Tuesday. But thank you all for tuning in and we'll catch you next game.